Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to extend your Windows 10 support for an extra year. So you probably know that Windows 10 support is expiring on October 14th, and then you will not get any more updates, which may not be a deal breaker for some people, but if you're not getting security updates, that could be a problem. And if your computer is not supported to run Windows 11, then you're not going to be able to upgrade unless you do one of the workarounds, which sometimes could cause some problems. All right, so we're going to show you how to add an additional year of support for your Windows 10 computer. Okay, so if we go to the Windows settings, and then we go to Update and Security, we have this option here, which you may or may not have under Windows Updates. And if you don't have this, um, they're still kind of rolling it out, so there are a couple of things you could check. Uh, one way they suggest is to join the Insider program. But if you don't want to do that, you might have to wait a little bit longer. And another thing you could check for is if you open the registry editor by typing reg edit in the search box here. Go to this key here, which I will put in the description. Uh, look for a D word value called allow telemetry. And make sure it's set to three. So if you don't have this value, you could right click new D word value. Name it allow telemetry just like this with a capital letters. Then double click it, change this value to 3. And if you don't have this data collection folder under Windows, you could right click Windows and do a new key and then type in data collection just like this and then add the D word value. Then another thing you could look for is to go to the Windows services by typing services in the search box here and then look for connected user experiences and telemetry. Uh, make sure it's set to automatic and running. So these are just a couple of things you could try if you don't have this option yet. So I'll put this information in the description as well. All right, and then also one last thing here. If you go to your update history, you need to make sure you have this update here, this KB5062649. That's going to be a requirement as well. You could do that via Windows Update. And then you're also going to be needing to be using a Microsoft account for this option too, I believe. All right, so if we click on Enroll Now, okay, then we click on Next here, put in our PIN. Now we're going to have to get a little authentication from Microsoft here. All right, so this says that we're eligible to enroll in extended security updates at no extra cost, and that's because we backed up our Windows settings. So you may see this, or you may see another screen, which I have a screenshot of here. Let me find it. All right, so this is already enabled on this computer. That's why it's already defaulting to this. And your other option is to redeem your Microsoft rewards if you have a thousand points. So it'll tell you how many you have based on what user account you're logged in with. And then you have the option for a one time purchase of $30 plus tax, which is not a bad deal, I guess, for one more year of support, especially if you can't upgrade to Windows 11 and don't feel like buying a new computer. All right, so like I said, depending on how your computer is configured, we'll determine what options you have so you may have the option to choose one of these or it may just default to this since this computer is already enrolled in the backup. Alright, so I'm going to click on enroll here. Alright, so now I get a message that says you're enrolled in extended security updates through October 13, 2026. Alright, so I'll just click on done. Alright, and that's all there is to it. All right, so like I said, you may not have this option because they're still kind of rolling it out. And then I gave you a couple things to check there uh, just to make sure you're actually going to get it. All right, so once you make sure everything is configured right and then you get that option whenever it happens to show up, you could use one of those three choices and then extend your Windows 10 support for another year. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.